friends, it's Erica from Flynn Craft House and today I have another video for you all about drawing a sketchbook spread. Specifically, we are going to be using our sketchbook spread to tour Italy. So it's all gonna be centered around Italy. Get out your materials if you wanna draw with me and we'll get started. I decided to start this one off with a loose sketch and I'm using a water soluble Derwent Ink Tense pencil for this step because the final medium that I'm going to use is water based markers. It'll just kind of blend into the drawing. So you should try this in a light color of something that you're going to be using in your drawing. For this sketchbook spread, I chose to use five images and I wanted a good variety. So I have a landscape, I have a Vespa, a gelato, a gondola, and sculpture of David. Just really the head. I kind of blocked all of them in and tried to make sure they all fit. So working with the space was a little bit challenging because my book is so small. For me, it's really important that I think about proportions a lot and I definitely feel like I drew too big. Now that my sketch is laid out there, I'm going to start working on each individual drawing. And as usual, I start with my Tombow water-based markers. I will usually start with a light value and then I will work into the medium tones and then the dark values at the very end. So you get to see my process here. This waffle cone was super hard for me to do because it is pretty structural and I like to work so fast that I don't want to spend time recording every detail. So I started with a mid-tone, I added in some dark values to represent the shadows and left some spaces white to represent the lights. Now switching over to the other page of my sketchbook spread, I really wanted to contrast the other free floating shapes by drawing in this structured box or this panel for my landscape. So I started out with a loose rectangular shape and I built my structures in here first with a light marker and then I developed it further in color. Keep in mind that this is sped up at about twice the speed that I drew in. 
So on average, I noticed that my drawings were taking me about 11 minutes each for this rendition of them. Um, so this is much faster and definitely edited so you don't have to sit through the entire process. This landscape was so detailed that I decided not to use my markers to do all the little details and I went straight into my color pencil. So I'm using the Prismacolor Indigo to just mark in a few of the branches to give a sense that these are all trees and grapevines. Now here I wanted to draw a Vespa, and if you are anything like me, cars, vehicles, planes, they're very technical and they may be a little bit more challenging for you like they are for me. So for the Vespa, I really have to take my time and make sure that I'm paying attention to my reference photo. So this one went a little bit slower, but I also am okay with accepting the quirkiness of a loose drawing like this. It definitely at the end still feels like it's a Vespa. You'd be amazed by how much your viewer can understand with just a little bit of information. Feel free to leave a little bit to the imagination on your drawing if that works for your style and your practice. Don't feel like you have to get everything exactly perfect. Here I really wanted to use a different shade of red in order to create the subtle facets and body changes on the Vespa. This one that I was drawing from was red, so I started with that pink and then I added the red in to create the darker areas and I left a few areas white for the highlights. And this was definitely something that required me to kind of take my time and pay attention, so I have to slow down just a little bit. Now, I can't let it go and mention that this David doesn't really look like David, but um, I think like with the color choices and the minimal rendering, it kind of reads as being like portrait of a statue. And 
I feel like the context is there, so I'm not super worried about the fact that this doesn't really look like David, but it's not my best portrait, I'll say that. this spread I hadn't done like a spread like this in a while so it was really fun to draw a variety of different things from food objects to sculptures to landscapes to lettering I mean, all of those things are my favorite things so it was really fun to put them all together in this sketchbook spread I hope you'll try this at home and you'll share your images with me I'd love to see what you make on Instagram if you like this video you want to see more stuff like this I post videos about once a month all about my drawing process different activities and challenges thank you so much for being here until next time happy drawing bye